Hey guys, so here bringing you another video. We're doing another leveling fun episode, and this might actually be the main video of the day. Uh, full disclosure, I'm feeling weird. I uh, don't know why. Um, just feeling a bit run down um, and odd. And I can't really put my finger on why. Maybe it's the medication. Not really sure. Um, so I tried to go on the main account. We played a, a one game, and I did awfully. Like, absolutely dreadfully. I'm like, I'm just not feeling it. And I don't want to force myself to keep playing on that account and just lose rating. So I was like, yeah, we need content. Let's just do something, hopefully, for fun and uh, chill. So, yeah. We're playing Talon. So we're going to Nari. She did not go for the GLP build, the glacial build, which I actually think would be better versus something like a Talon, but no that's fine. Hide. Haven't looked up, like, what the ratings are already. Um, let's see. Are we against anybody? Um, so this Ari has played Ari eight times and has got a 75% win rate with a very good KD. So again, a smurf of some degree. The UD is platinum, you know. So everyone in the game is either level 30 or a smurf. Do, 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 do. Another do, 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 do. One hit level two. Give me level two, please. Right. I also, in the comments, um, in the comments of this video, I actually want to ask a question, get answers, if I may. Um, you know, we've spoken about the Rush to Diamond series. I, I'm planning on maybe doing that because it might be kind of fun. But do you think I need to do that on a fresh account like this, what we're leveling right now? This account is only level 10, so it's going to take a while to get it level 30. Or do you think an account that I have done a unranked diamond on will suffice? Like, I've got like six accounts. Wow, that tower. I've got like six accounts that I don't really use. That was really weird by her. Um, and they, yeah, they, they're, they're completely unused haven't played on them in a couple of years, so the MMR should be kind of flattened out. So, I don't know. I'm tempted just to go on one of those accounts. That was a good start. I don't know why Ari did that, by the way, because she just didn't have any damage to back up, like, going aggressive. She, like, flash ignited, and then all of her... Oh! That was really close. And then, wait, Lucian's got one farm. Holy moly. Um, so yeah. Why did you basic attack? Oh god. Remember, a lot of the time when you're leveling up new accounts, you have to remember the, the gen... Like, well, a lot of people that are also leveling up new accounts are banned on their other accounts. It's very common. Because again, a lot of people who are toxic are a little bit addicted to league you could say because they're very emotionally attached to it hence why they're toxic and then they get banned and they're like i can't stop playing the game i need to level a new account and because they're not very smart because they're toxic they don't stop being toxic <laughs> so the circle continues i don't think i've ever met a smart toxic person Okay, so she's baiting in that bush completely. It might be a little bit too obvious. I want to go ward it and just be like, ta-da, if Udi is just chilling in that bush. <laughs> she went, it was so obvious that she was baiting that bush and even Yumi was there. Oh man, like, make it less obvious, dude. She was literally just like, come and get me. God damn it. <laughs> uh, if you like that, throw a like on the video. There we go. Tyler, what is a smart, toxic person? Uh, I haven't watched much of the dude, but nothing screams smart with him. Entertaining, sure. Again, that's just a, a personal, like, I've just never personally. I'm sure in the comments, they'll be like, I know a smart, toxic person, or I'm toxic and I'm smart. I'm sure they exist. I've just personally have never really come across one. Ding 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 ding. Um, so a double farm. I'm trying to think, what do I want to do? Do I want to buy Mobies early and start roaming? Probably, right? 
Yeah, I think so. I know people, like, people are talking about Twitter, uh, Tyler at the moment in chat. I know people that have met him personally, and they do say he does have anger issues. Um, that's why he's obviously so toxic, but a lot of what he does on stream is put on. Apparently he is quite nice in real life, so take that as you will, I guess. Boom. But yeah, he's got anger issues for sure, though. You don't have 20-odd permaband accounts without having, like, anger issues. <laughs> Which is, you know, it sucks. Nothing wrong with getting help for, for that type of thing. An ally has been slain. Please get him. Oh, no way, dude. We you seriously not get that? That sucks. Damn it. Can you get IP banned? I uh, don't know if they call it IP bans, because IP bans don't work. He got ID banned. Identity banned. So if Riot... Like, you could play the game, and he did play the game, but if Riot found out an account was his, they'd ban it then. There's only been, I think, about three... There's, in the history of League of Legends, I believe there's only three people that have ever been ID banned. Tyler won. Uh, Jensen, who is the mid laner for a pro team right now, he was one of them. Because he DDoSed people, which is actually a against the law, and he could go for the to jail for it. Um, and Dopa in Korea. Those three people, I believe, are the only three. Bump. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Am I going Tiamat? Yep. I want. The I don't usually like Tiamat, but I need Tiamat this game to push the lane faster than I can go and roam. Tarzan? He's not been ID banned. <laughs> Questionable decision of why invading right now. Oh well. Again, always have a thought to why you're doing a play. Permaban was ID banned. What? Is that a player called Permaban? Or is someone confused? Permaban and ID ban is not the same thing. Don't even know if Akali needs me here, to be honest. Oh, he still had flash. Damn. Oh, cool. Actually, I should probably ward that. Imagine if Udyr just came walking up there. Oh, Heatherman is a player? All right. Yeah, I don't know who that is. If he's another one, then there you go. There's been a few. But you've got to be really bad to get ID banned. Like, really bad. Should get... Wait. Should get banned for win trading, if that's the case. Oh, the win trading situation? Yeah, the, like, apparently... I, I've spoken to a couple of high-rating players in NA recently. Just, like, not going to say who or anything. But I've been interested about it. Apparently, the culture of win trading in North America is massive. Like, practically all the high-rating players have done it, and that is just the norm of high-rating NA. I'm like, what? It's crazy to me. The idea of win trading or cheating to get a rank is just awful in my head. Why was Jensen ID banned? He DDoSed people. Again, which is literally against a law that you can go to jail for now. Um, I don't think it was against the law at the time he did it, because he was, like, young. You know, that, this was, like, five years ago. Um, but, yeah. It's against the law now.
What is DDoSing? Uh, basically flooding someone's internet connection so their internet dies. So you find out their internet, like, address, like their IP and stuff, and you flood connections to their, that, the, you know, the same internet. Just like, you flood thousands upon thousands of connections going to that. I was like, I'm here to help, but then I realized that you don't need help. But that's why I've never been a fan of Jensen. When you have that in you to do that type of cheating, then you're kind of done in my book. So Yumi is just constantly not in bot lane anymore. Yes. Yes. Burn, baby, burn. Why did Yumi... Wait, Yumi is Flash? Oh, that's weird. Uh, Crowd Talia. Thanks so much, dude. Night Blue and Nubrak didn't get burned, but nah, they just got, like, two-week burns or something. I think Nubrak's already back to doing his trolling stuff. Like, top lane is just constantly fighting at the moment. It's really funny to watch. Wait, who was there? They won't survive. Was it Udir? Oh, yeah. What's my opinion on Night Blue Nubrak? I've already given my opinion, but they're both, like, they're both in the wrong, and they both got banned, so it's, like, a win-win. Night Blue is generally very toxic. And Nubrak's trolling, so it's kind of worked out the way it should have, which is good. Do, 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 do. Again, the way that I've always described, like, what should, like, when, especially those strategies, why should one get banned or not? If you are doing a strategy that is making the experience for your teammates, you know, worse, then it should get banned, right? You know, you're not more important than four people um, doing your one strategy that you're trying to break the meta for. Oh. I looked away at Twitch chat for a second and then there's three people chilling in a bush. Okay. Fair enough. Does Night Blue not have a league partner anymore? No idea. I think you don't, you never get it. When you're actively banned, you lose League Partner, but he's probably got it back now. If, you know. Yeah. Uh oh. Dodge the charm. Oh, she just missed. Did I ever used to play StarCraft? I did a bit. Was never really amazing at it. They could have just killed him. Damn. They, they legit could have just murdered that Udyr straight away. Yeah, hopefully this is okay if I do decide to upload this as the main video. Again, sorry for it's just like not crazy, you know, competitive content. It's being a bit weird today. And this is just a lot more chill than playing against like Diamond when I master people when I know I'm not having a great day. I'm dead. Damn, that little bit extra damage finished me off. Did I get double ignited? No, I'm just ignited by Ari. Nice. Talon is pretty fun though, man. He is good.
Uh, when do you go try first versus Black Cleaver and Darius? Uh, it's situational. If you feel like you can snowball off your opponent, then try Force. If you don't think you can, then Black Cleaver. Or if you're against a pure tank, like, you know, you're against Malphite, you may as well buy a Black Cleaver. It'll help you more in the long run. Some stuff like that. Pretty much. I never compromise. The thing you've also, like, again, with going back to talking about, like, the toxic kind of atmosphere in content creation stuff, it sucks, but toxic stuff does actually get you more views. Like, it, it's actually been statistically proven that stuff on YouTube, if you have a toxic swing to it, and again, I'd never purposely do any other thing, other thing like that, it gets more views. Uh, the internet and just the way the world works nowadays likes angry things. I don't know why, but yeah. Kind of crazy, but yeah. What even is League Partner Program? Um... So, yeah, the, the, well then, the outside that a lot of people just see is, you know, you get that buff on an, one or two accounts that you just have everything unlocked in the game. That's like very little of what League Partner is. Um, we get told, it, dep it depends how kind of buddy-buddy you are or how big you are, I guess, because like there are some very small League Partners. They probably don't get told that much or if you're friends with designers or anything like that. You know, we're all under NDA and we get told things early. Um, you know. So when a new champion comes out, the likelihood of me knowing about it before you guys is pretty much 100%. And then, if depending where you're located, some league partners will get invited to go for playtests and stuff. Where the hell did... Are they all just, like, chilling in a bush waiting for me? What's going on? Dun, dun, dun. Oops. He's just accepted his fate. Wow. Oh, dear. Go damn who dear, dude. Get killed. He's so quick. Um. Only fools pledge. I do not conform to the normal. That's why you like watching me. No, that's the thing. I do think. I think I do conform to the norm. I think the outliers are the people that give in to toxicity, though. I'm just a normal dude. I'm not here to act. I'm not here to do whatever. I'm just, I'm just me. I think that is the norm. Do -do -do. I thought we were like a little bit more together there. Together forever. Boom, baby. That's an underrated Pokemon song right there. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Talon's fun. Like, whenever I play Talon, here's the weird thing. I always have a great time. And, like, I always, like, I should play this champ on my main account. But then I go on my main account, I'm like, I don't want to play Talon. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. I guess you, like, Talon is a very hit or miss champ. You'll either get fed or you'll probably feed. So when you're on a main account in High Diamond or Master or whatever, you're like, Ew. you know, if it goes bad, it's going to go really bad. If it goes good, it'll go really good. And that's just not really my play style. Not really. He's fun, and he's really good for solo queue, by the way, because the idea is that he beats a lot of stuff in 1v1s, 
and then you know you roam you know he is one of the roaming mid laners that's part of his kit Unstoppable. which is i like I think I beat that Udyr with Ignite. I don't know if I beat him without Ignite. Maybe. Okay, we beat him. <laughs> oh, rip for that Udyr, dude. He's like, I've got I'm dead. Wait, why are you tanky? That, does it mean all that Lucian's health bar looks more than it should be? He's got 1,800 health, nearly 1,900. That's a lot of health. This Yastro, see what I mean? Like, this dude has definitely been perma-banned on his main account. The Akali was beating him, like, in 1v1s practically the whole game. Oh, dude. Oh. He's back. Oh, damn. I got charmed. If I didn't get charmed, then I would have been fine. I would have killed him and then run away. <laughs> Didums. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. The, uh, yeah, like, he's a toxic person. Look at the name, I guess. Um, I don't Is Didums a thing in, like, around the world? Or is it just a British thing? I don't know. Because Didums is like, oh, damn. You know, it's, it's kind of like a, a cutesy way of saying like that. Didums. So I don't know if like Americans would get that because that's just really funny. Definitely a British thing? Okay. Yeah. It's quite an old thing so you don't really hear it much in nowadays in Britain either. But yeah, it's basically you saying, oh damn, oh feels bad for you, oh didums. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're from Scotland. I only heard it once. Yeah, you, people don't really say it anymore, but it's definitely a thing. I think my grandma used to say it quite a lot. Do as much damage as you can. Oh, there's a lot of people. Oh, I don't know why Ramus is top side. Wow, how was he let to do that? How wasn't he killed? I've no under I don't understand how he wasn't just killed. Do I play F1 with a controller or steering wheel? Uh, controller. I don't have a steering wheel anymore. I got rid of it. That game is too easy though. I play. I like. I started that game at like 90 difficulty. I'm now on 100% difficulty on F1 with no assists, and you still win. And I'm play. I'm racing for Haas. Not even racing for like Mercedes or anything. I never compromise. Hmm. Will I beat Akali to top lane? I'm a lot quicker. It's my favorite single player game. Jesus Christ, I have no idea. I've started playing Kingdom Come Deliverance again from the beginning because they've got some DLC that I never played. I've got to get quite like, hello. I just want to like chill. I just want to make this guy angry. Alright, let's kill him now. <laughs> Watch the all chat. Here we go. He's going to complain when literally we're just standing AFK for like three seconds. Uh, Halo. Uh, I prefer multiplayer of Halo. I can't wait for that on PC. I cannot wait. But I, to be fair, yeah, I prefer multiplayer of Halos. Do I like Skyrim? Yeah, I'm looking forward to Elder Scrolls. I think I'll play the, the when the new Elder Scrolls eventually comes out. I honestly think I'll play that one more than I did Skyrim. I'm into those type of games more, like Witcher and all that. I like those games more now than when I was like 16. I didn't have the patience for those games. Now I do. Is that you, me? 
Oh, we didn't get the charm off. Taunt even. Was this up? No. But yeah, I've started playing Kingdom. If you never, if you like kind of like Skyrimy games, but you're not like you know, Kingdom Come Deliverance is really good, but it's more grounded. There's not really magic and stuff. Um, it's really good. It's it's locked first person, so some people might not like that, but I think it's awesome. I've played it the whole way through once, and I'm doing it again. And oh, that's so warded. Nah. Don't think I would burst him, because he get, he's got random a lot of health. Final Fantasy. I've never really got into Final Fantasies. Never been my thing. I don't like turn-based combat, and I know they're trying to move away from that, kind of. Um, but yeah, the only turn-based combat game I actually like is Pokemon. Whoa, legendary. Didn't realize. Yeah, I like Bioware games. Um, I like Bioshocks. They're good. But I, the last, you know, Infinite, which has a lot. That was the last Bioshock, right? I didn't play it. I watched it. I watched the playthrough of it. I think at the time I might have been like a bit in, because that's that game's surprisingly old, right? I think. I watched Jesse Cox play it because he was like, you know, he makes you, uh, uh, you know, it was fun to watch him at the time. Uh, I've got nothing to help you with. I can in a second, though. There we go. If Yasuo has stayed top lane now, I can kill him. Oh, I got stuck. I don't know what happened then. That was weird. Ran. Oh, Brand, Brand, Brand. I'll get your ult off. No. He could have tripled. Here we go. Boom. Stun. W. Oh, he ulted a little bit too early because it didn't bounce to anything. And he got exhausted. <laughs> Do I have a favorite Pokemon? Charizard, my dude. Do, do, do. Thing is, I've got 40% cooldown reduction, but don't I want Edge of Night? Wait, it doesn't give cooldown reduction. Guys, the Edge of Night doesn't give cooldown reduction. <laughs> uh, I'm a dum dum. Yeah, Kingdom comes really good because you can like change your playstyle. If you wear heavy armor, one, you'll be really loud, so I think people will hear you more. And people will also react to you different. Like, you'll be more threatening. If you wear fancy clothes, you might be able to talk out your talk, talk out of situations more because it will give you higher charisma. I was like, that's good. Also, you've got to wash. If you're dirty, people will react to you differently because they don't want to be talking to someone that's, like, dirty. So, yeah. God, this Udyr has just a very all-in playstyle of doing things alone. But yeah, it's good. Yeah, we actually could do Baron right now, by the way. We do it really fast. I think we should just do it, baby. Let's do it. Let's go. I watched the Pokemon series. Uh, the original one, yeah. I don't really watch the modern stuff, because apparently it's gone a little bit kiddie. But I'm looking forward to the game. Oh, she was so close to that trap. Like, that was ridiculously close. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa, that Lucian. The aggression. Po oh, yeah, yeah. It was always kiddie. It's Pokemon. I Sure. But it's gone more kiddie. Stop. Um... Like, even Ash himself looks younger. Oh. Ash looks younger than he used to be. Oh, 
I didn't kill Yumi. Satisfying to kill Yumi, dude. I should go back. Sword or shield? I don't know yet, because they haven't announced, like, what Pokemon's going where. Because, like, they've said that, like, there's only going to be 700 Pokemon in this one, not the thousand in total or whatever. You know, there's still going to be a lot. Um, but there's been an outroar about it, apparently. Um, if one of them is like, you can get Charizard in sword, but you can't get it in shield, then you know which one I'm getting. Because I'm pretty sure Char Charizard is 100% going to be in the game. Because one of the gym leaders has got a Charizard, so... Why would you not put it in the game if you're already coding it for a gym leader? So my... Uh, bug? Uh, why would, you know... You wouldn't code it for a gym leader and then not let the player have it. Have I ever played COD? I used to play COD competitively. And I played it a lot on Xbox 360 with friends. COD was like the game in when I was in secondary school that everybody played. Well. Just be patient around his wind wall and don't rush it. Which gym leader is that? It looked like the one that's like a Lance wannabe. It was in the trailer. Cod and FIFA, yeah. Cod and FIFA was like mid to late 2000s. Every single se like secondary schooler in Britain. That's what you did. After school, Cod or FIFA. Damn it. I think I could have survived there. Like, Ramus has just murdered a Lucian by himself. Uh, do I watch the professional league for any game except league? Uh, no. I'm going to be full build, maybe, by the end of the game. Like, the games might be ending. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Obviously, it's not Clem to Master or anything like that. Um, I might have like a five minute break and think, do I want to record something, you know, else? But th this will definitely be a video. Um, whether it's a first video or second video of the day, then yeah. Mm. Oh, the champion has got the Charizard, not the gym leader. Oh, there you go. Well, if the champion has got a Charizard, then I think you as the player will be able to get one maybe after you complete the, 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 the league. Random. There you go. Hell yeah, dude. All right, level 11, baby. So we get basic capsule, we get a keystone keystone slot, and we get a we, we get the new we can play more champions basically because we get the the weekly champions to level up now. Oh, we got given us How much stuff do you get for leveling up, dude? You get skin shards for leveling up. Obviously, it's not a skin, but it's a skin shard. That's insane. That's crazy cool. Anyway, we went 16, 8, 13. We got an S. 212 farm. We did the most damage in the game. So yeah, that was a nice game. I'll take it. Uh, very chill. A lot better atmosphere happening, obviously, in this game. You know, naturally it would be. Uh, but I might have like a five minute break. Have a little think what I want to do. And maybe, I don't know, do we bring back the Iron to Diamond series? Because that will be, in theory, less stressful than the Climb to Master series. I don't know. I'm in a weird place at the moment. I don't really know what to do. Uh, but that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, throw a like on it, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.